My wife says you should go to the doctor. And I told her we can't afford the doctor. You definitely can afford the doctor. I can't afford the doctor. You can't not afford the doctor. I can't even afford to drive to the doctor. Have you seen the price of gas lately? It's expensive. It, I, a, a lot here. Like I was 420 wrong. or so in the valley. What did I what did I say a couple of weeks ago it was going to top out at? I um, think I said 429. Did you? What did I, think, I say? I think you said 450. Oh, okay. Pablo, what Pablo did, said like five bucks. Did didn't you say he? five? It seems like I said 429, and then I went home that afternoon, and the gas stations around my place were already at, well, it's like a circle K, so it's 419 easy pay, which means <laughs> I have to go to the ATM first. It's not easier. Or 429 if you use a credit card. And I was like, man, I guessed 429, we're already there. Yeah, the Phoenix average is 427. The national average, man, don't you wish you could live in national? It's only yeah. 362 for national. I might be able to afford to drive to the doctor if I did that. I'm probably going to need an MRI. Mid-show? I can't afford that. My deductible is What about high. an ultrasound? I can just get in with one of those machines and just give you the, the wand in there and see what's going on. You ever go to one of those um, state you surplus auctions? My dad and I used to go to that when I was younger. They used to have, like, ultrasound machines from the state hospital or something. Yeah. And I always thought it'd be cool to have one of those, but I never knew how they worked. And I always assumed if they were in one of the surplus auctions, it meant that they were broken. But, man, would that have been cool? I could have been practicing medicine on my own. Yeah, so Arizona... Could have made some money on that. ...has the seventh highest average price in gas this week out of all the states there. I always... All the states where? The United. Oh, okay, very good. I always figure we're about a dollar less than... California. I always figure if I'm driving to San Diego, I take eight across, right? And I always figure as soon as I get to Yuma, I fill up. There's a Loves at exit three. Not that I know for sure. There's a Loves at exit three, and I always top off there because as soon as I get to the other side of the border, Buck it more. goes up a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I just feel like this is on its way up. And then, my gosh, Israel's bombing Iran, and I'm thinking, Israel, don't do that. Gas. Gas prices, people. I'm worried about these things. And then I worry about, I, I just worry. I get very anxious. Really? Joe, yeah, I get anxious. You've been to Chipotle lately? Yes. Have you seen the prices? They're going up all the I time. I can't even believe it. Six times in the last three years? I love that Wall Street Journal had a story about this, and they were kind of making fun of millennials and gym rats. Hmm. Uh, the burrito chain outperforms restaurant rivals with customers who tend to have higher incomes and be health conscious. Chipotle keeps raising their prices. Gym rats and millennials are still buying burritos, which means, I guess, no one else is. <laughs> so Chipotle has increased their prices, as Joe just said, six times in the last three years. Uh, and they're also boosting prices on their delivery apps. Prices are set to go up even more in California. That's, they say, because of the, the uh, minimum wage increases. Yeah. Which still don't match the actual price increases, but they use it as an excuse to raise prices again. Mm -hmm. uh, so Chipotle now has gotten outrageously expensive. Weren't you and I talking about Taco Bell has gone crazy? It used to be you could get... Used to be Taco Bell had a five buck box. I think the cheapest thing they have mm -hmm. now is nine. Mm. Uh, so that's ridiculous. Hmm. And, uh, and I was listening to uh, Ramsey last week, and he was saying, uh, you know, oh, the kids these days, they just complain that they can't afford anything, but they just need to... They just need to... Put on the bootstraps. Put on some bootstraps. I can't even afford bootstraps to pull up, How Joe. about some used bootstraps? Not if I have to go get my, my boo-boos checked on by the doctors. Can we throw it in reverse here real quick? Yeah, go ahead. The gas prices stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you look at the factors or the reasons why they're saying our gas is going up here in no. Arizona. No, what's the uh, what's the deal? So, you kind of touched on Don't say that they're that they're doing maintenance. Hold Don't on. say that so, cuz that it's so just global conflict. Me. You touched on that. Okay, one. yeah. The war in Ukraine and Israel have kept oil prices high internationally. Okay. I can buy that one. Uh-huh. And then this one I I I call this this is malarkey right here. Okay, go. Cool. Seasonality, they said. What does that mean? Oh, like we have summer blend? So this is from Axios Phoenix here. They mm -hmm. said, spring break kicks off a period of increased demand for gas as more people take road trips. This typically keeps the prices elevated through the summer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Such garbage. So seasonality was one that they threw out there. Yeah. Um, one more, and then my favorite line from this Axios Phoenix story the, the one you're not going to want to hear here. I don't want to hear it. Supply. No. Several California refineries, mm -hmm. which make 
a bunch of our gas yeah. are undergoing maintenance, oh, okay. which has created a supply shortage. This is why the whole argument is crap. And they all say, well, we got more demand. Oh, do you not have supply? Like, well, we do. Okay, so demand doesn't actually wane. You realize this? We talk about supply and demand. And I lo- the, the, the oil people love to keep saying supply and demand, supply and demand. Demand doesn't change. Not when it comes to gas. No. And they're going to say, well, you've got people who are spring breaking. Okay, maybe there's a little more demand, but has supply diminished? Do we not have the supply? And then they go, well, we've got the refineries under maintenance. Can I really make you scream now? Well, wait a minute. Let me make my point about refineries under maintenance. You're already screaming. Did you know that refineries are always under maintenance? Uh-huh. All right. Are you prepared for this? Refineries have what they call planned maintenance. Yeah. So let me just ask this, Joe. Let's suppose that you are uh, you're running. You supply hamburgers to McDonald's, right? And McDonald's says we need uh, how many? Uh, we need a billion burgers for the month of April. It's a lot of burgers. And you say, wow, my cows are under maintenance. And Mm. they go, we need a billion burgers. Can you just say, sorry, McDonald's, my cows are under maintenance. Demand for my cows is up. I can still give you a billion burgers, but it's going to cost you uh, more. McDonald's is going to say no, because you know that your cows needed maintenance. We wanted a billion. You have a billion. You sell us a billion. I need gas. You have a refinery. You know your refinery needs seasonal maintenance. Plan for it. Why is it? Uh, uh, well, there's maintenance, so now our gas prices have gone up. Demand hasn't changed. Supply is still there. They're like, yeah, but we have to clean some tanks. Well, plan for it then. What this, other business can get away with that crap? This touches on your point here, too. Go on. <laughs> oh, Chris. I'm so peeved. Uh, your top is going to come off on this Uh-oh. one. Arizona gas prices are almost always higher than the rest of the country because our, quote, Car-dependent cities keep demand high. Oh, is that right? That's according to uh, AAA spokesman Julian Paredes. Oh, okay. Okay. It's just because we have cars in demand in our cities. No, car-dependent cities. Car-dependent cities. Could you cite some non-car-dependent cities? That's a really great point, Joe! You're right, my head just exploded. Oh. Our car-dependent cities have really kept the prices up because we've got maintenance that we didn't know it was going to happen, and there's people on spring break, and we didn't know spring break was going to occur this year in the springtime. I guess he'd be arguing like a New York or something, but I guarantee you gas prices in New York are exceptionally high, oh too. Oh, gosh. Like, who has a non-car-dependent city? I'm willing to bet L.A., All of them Albuquerque, All of them Vegas... Are. Tulsa, Detroit, they're all car-dependent cities. I don't look at Arizona and go, wow, Mesa. How does somebody get ahead? That's sure a car-dependent city. How does somebody get ahead? Honestly, when you have people that are playing these games, and whenever I bring this up, somebody always calls me or they send me a nasty gram. They're like, you just don't understand supply and demand. No, I literally understand supply and demand. I know how business works, and business works like this. If you have employees that are getting ready to go on vacation, you make sure that the work is done before they go. Period. That's how business works. You don't get to charge people more and say, well, Joe took vacation this week. Nope, it doesn't work that way. And I get very frustrated by this. And I feel like more and more we have people taking advantage of us, and then we're supposed to just buy these easy excuses. And I don't. I don't fall for the easy excuses. But those easy excuses give us reasons to raise the prices and to make things unattainable. And you wonder why people say, I can't even find myself chasing the American dream. I can't even, not only can I not afford the American dream, I can't even afford to chase the American dream. You don't even want to think about it. I think... This notion of the American dream is not just dead. It is buried, but because of supply and demand issues, the cost of the American dream casket is going way up. Maybe the fall blend of caskets is going to be more affordable. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.